everyone, Corn here, and I have a project share. Um, this pocket letter is for Lynn Wilson. She's a lovely lady. She's one of our neighbors to the north, and um, she likes, her favorite style is vintage. And so you all might recognize the paper is from the paper studio at Hobby Lobby, Vintage Valentine. And this paper pad is so beautiful that it really stands alone. I really didn't embellish it a great deal because it is so beautiful to begin with. Um, what you'll see here, first off, I think we're going to start with my ribbon tag. And the paper pad is fantastic because we're not only dealing with pinks, but also more peachy pinks, also red, and uh, a more um, maroon. I mean, it just incorporated all those colors together. So I tried to do the same here. This ribbon I also used here and here to give it a little bit of a bling, but it has the corally pink, it has lace, it has the pink um, and white ribbon from Dollar Tree, it has a white with pink arrows, you know, all incorporated because it kind of ties in all of these colors. The first one here, I, I fussy cut this out of one of the pages, this corner, and then I also did this corner. I added, this is from the Paper Studio also, a little paper flower with bling. I went around each of the rectangles and in all of my pieces that I fussy cut and used Vintage Photo to ink them up to help give a nice vintage feel. I did make this lace flower for Lynn, and in the center of it has a little ribbon rose. I used the doily here, here, just a section of it, and then two doilies here, a section also, so you could see that beautiful, beautiful uh, paper. I put this, um, cream cotton lace is from Dollar Tree and then when it came to these beautiful I fussy cut these beautiful postcards out just inked up the edges and I did not put make them dimensional because I wanted to put the flowers the glittered flowers on either side here and here and on this one, I just wrote for Lynn. And I tried to write a lot fancier than I normally do because of this, but I don't think I can accomplish that type of writing, which I think is beautiful. All three of these pieces, it, they are on a little uh, on foam for dimension. I don't know if y'all can see that. But this paper to me stands alone. But this, I, I fussy cut this out of this paper. And underneath it though, because I wanted it to pop, that is actually um, washi tape underneath it, which is the same as a more dark maroon color. And then I have um, just some punches I did with the hearts, the two hearts together, which Bring your eye down with these two papers. And then one thing I did too, I also punched out the doves. And each one of them, this is carrying a heart out of this paper and vice versa. But I know Lynn likes older and I thought that she'd be happy with this one. And my paper clips are from Target, Target. And then on the back, we have washi paper clips with a heart and an arrow. We have felt um, hearts and some heart um, sequins and lots of puffy hearts and then um, 
dimensional hearts, some punches that I did for her, stickers, and some washi. I also am sending her way. She loves dogs. In fact, her precious dog is sometimes when she's filming on the back of her sofa behind her. And it's just some cute little Valentines, like little, you know, like you gave when you were little. But what we love about paper artists is that they'll probably fussy cut. She can fussy cut around these or do what she would like. And this is Woof You Be Mine, and which I love. And um, she adores pink and yellow together. So I, that reminded me of her. I made this envelope and inked it for her punches and um, the beautiful die cut was sent to me by Haley from Southern Bell. Thank you, Haley. And then I just put another little heart here. And then when she opens this, let's see, I know I made a closure. There it is. I made a closure for it and I'm going to go ahead and put, um, it has the uh, removable glue dot on it and inside she has her um, journaling cards that are graphic 45 aren't they lovely and then to put her letter in in the pocket this just says please read and I have a little butterfly and I did take my markers and give him a more pronounced and ten I and this paper I forget where I got this paper but I like using regular paper instead of cardstock for these envelopes because I think they fold nicer and then I also have some more um, a few things I fussy cut but mostly these are punches and then decorated again inked up everything for her Decorated the top and then I think we've all seen these. This is the Anna Griffin um, Envelopes, whoa, <laughs> and there goes the embellishment Which comes out on this all you do is you take that off and I'm giving her some of those pink rose trim that um, I hauled and showed you all and I think what's so fun about this is it matches the bag perfectly and she can do with that whatever she would like. And I also have some other things for Lynn that I picked up at Tuesday morning, but I don't think they need to be shown. And I just wanted to thank you all so much for stopping by. And I am super excited. There are several of us that did pick up that uh, paper pad and I'm really excited to see what Kimmy Kim and Callie G and Gretchen from Cat and Paws and what they do with theirs and thank you so much for dropping in bye bye